Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for some rhyme time with Lawrence the Lazy Lion. Lawrence the Lion is feeling lazy one day. He doesn't want to get out of bed or even play. Edward Elephant wonders just what he should do. And Jenny Giraffe is very concerned, too. Lawrence is just lying around. He won't move or talk or even make a sound. Each one of Lawrence's friends asks what they can do. But Lawrence just closes his eyes in the beautiful blue. His friends get together and make a plan to lift his spirits. They whisper really quietly so Lawrence won't hear it. They call a meeting of everyone they know. They tell the crowd they are going to put on a show. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for tonight. Gary Gorilla makes all of the introductions. Zachary Zebra runs by with a sheet of instructions. Gary Gorilla gives everyone the plan to lift lion spirits. Sarah Spider tells Gary, Speak softer so Lion won't hear it. At just the right time, everyone gathers around Lawrence's bed. He just sleepily pulls the covers back up over his head. The friends all do their jobs as they have discussed. It seems to Lion that everyone is making such a big fuss. Miss Parrot parades through the air performing her tricks. And Edward the Elephant juggles lemons as his legs do high kicks. Maxie Monkey offers Lion a mushy banana for a treat. She thinks Lawrence might feel better if he has something to eat. Lawrence isn't laughing or smiling or trying to be rude. But nothing his friends do seem to lighten Lawrence's mood. Isabel the Intelligent Iguana reads information in her book. And then she gives Lawrence a very inquisitive look. Isabel leans over and whispers something in Lawrence's ear. It is so quiet, no one else can hear. Suddenly, with a leap, Lawrence jumps out of his bed. He loudly shakes his mane and lowers his lion head. Lawrence is laughing really loud and moving all around. He is stomping and pouncing loud on the ground. The friends are astonished, and they wonder what Isabel said. Isabel is giggling and laughing and shaking her head. It seems Lawrence's alarm had been set for nine. Lawrence just didn't think it was getting up time. Lawrence had been lounging and resting in his bed. He was enjoying the soft pillow under his giant lion head. No one knows what Isabel quietly whispered in Lawrence's ear, but it must have been just what Lawrence needed to hear. Lawrence had been lazy and lounging, not making a sound, but now he is growling and dancing around. He is up and dressed and ready to play. (laughs) Lawrence can't wait to join his friends for a fun-filled day. There will be no more laziness for Lawrence for a while. He will be busy making his friends happy and smiling his giant lion smile. Join me next time to enjoy some rhyme time fun with Maxine the Mischievous Monkey. Maxine and her friends at the pet shop. 
investigate a noisy machine that has papers that drop and drop and won't seem to stop.